more sneaky. They come in the form uh, of nice grandmotherly uh, women or uh, nice grandfatherly uh, men, okay? It can be older, younger. Narcissism does not discriminate, all right? It, uh, it, does, it crosses all bounds. It crosses all racial uh, divides. It crosses all demographics, okay? They have an excessive need for admiration or what we call narcissistic supply all right they have to have attention this is why narcissists are typically uh serial cheaters okay they have to be around a lot of people thank you kiana yes we have to educate one another hello because this is how we break the chains so they have to have people around them at all times because one person is not enough because that narcissist has a false sense of self all right their their inner child they we went we all go through trauma but that narcissist that narcissistic personality that narcissistic person succumbs to a false self okay then they're not able to withstand the pain like an empath can like a, a prophetic person can okay so uh, uh they succumb to a false self and those uh, demonic spirits or those demonic uh personalities or those demonic principalities then overtake their true personality okay and so because of that they have to be around people who validate their false self. As long as you believe that narcissistic person is who they who they believe or have set themselves up to be, they will keep you around in their life. How about you know that? Do you hear me? They will keep you around in their circle because you validate their false self. But the minute, the minute that you start to ask questions, the minute that you discern that this person is not who they say they are, the minute that you discern that that one of these things is not like the other oh they're going to turn on you because you have invalidated their false self and they uh, uh you have caused them narcissistic injury what we call narcissistic injury and then you will go from the worst the best thing to the worst thing so when you first meet that narcissist it feels like you are in love it feels like you have met your soulmate all right it feels like you have met the love of your life oh but wait on it wait on it because it's coming okay it's coming all right the shoe is gonna fall okay now if they're in your family if they are in yes speak on it that's what we have to tell the truth about this thing now if they're in your family they play the they do the same things okay they just do it more uh they do it a little bit differently okay uh the narcissists in your family uh it's, they play the same games okay they're very gossipy uh uh they're very uh they use triangulation they try to make you jealous they have a superficial uh, or they you they are very superficial should i say that oh you can't go deep too deep with the narcissist all right now they believe that they're more they're the smartest person in the room because those demons enable them uh to be uh exploitative and they have a pattern and they have a pervasive pattern of going through life conning people and getting over on people okay and they can do this because they have a seared conscience they have what is called uh they, they are what they call uh being reprobate they are are on their way to reprobation if they aren't already so that's why god wants us to give things to him he doesn't want us to take uh, uh matters into our own hands he doesn't want us to be vengeful he says Let vengeance is mine because if you don't give that to him you are you're on your way to try to take care of things yourself and god doesn't want that he knows what that root of bitterness does to you if you allow that root of bitterness to set in then you're on your way to becoming like the narcissist and that's when you know you need deliverance you don't want that to set in absolutely superficial court if you will know that oh they are uh they're very surface level now they may try to seem deep oh if you try to have a conversation with them they try to seem deep but they can't really go too far a lot of the times all right they just regurgitate what they've heard somebody else say all right and then they will try to mirror you that's why you think you found your soulmate because all they did was mirror you back to you hello isn't that wicked where they just mirror you like like uh in the greek mythology the the narcissist that's where that comes from okay where that uh man in greek mythology loved himself so much that he fell in love with his image that's what the narcissist does to you they love bomb you and they mirror you and they mirror you back to you oh isn't that wicked all right so they they put on it they build up a whole false persona in order to appeal to you 
Don't you know you're so bad in the kingdom? You're and when by bad, I mean good. You're such a bad woman walking, a bad man walking that the that the enemy, that the demons come together to form a personality to trick you into believing that this person is who they say they are. So they create a whole mirage based on you. They study you. All right. That's why you have to study your enemy. That's why we have to learn spiritual warfare, because if you don't know your enemy, your enemy has an advantage over you. All right. So they they have a seared conscience. This is what allows them to do the dirt that they do so well. All right. They uh, they uh, lack empathy. All right. And they have a, a no sense of self. So this is why uh, they have uh, really they go like in their bag, what I call their bag of souls. And they pull out uh, a personality in order to fool you, in order to get close to you. So if you're fooled by a narcissist, don't you know, it's hard. It's, it's hard. But don't be too ashamed of that. Don't be ashamed of that at all. OK, because they fool so many people. And if you have broken free, count yourself blessed. OK, because a lot of people stay in bondage with these people and they don't understand the evil and the magnitude of evil that rests inside of these people. They don't understand the demonic forces that these people are wrestling with. OK, and narcissists have a difficulty with attachment and and dependency. All right. So they latch on to you to suck and siphon all of your good spirit. It's like a, a transference of evil. Do you hear me? All right. It is a transference of evil. So where they love strong people. All right. They will, they will try to minimize and belittle you. So you think that you are not enough. Oh, when you are everything because you are a child of God. All right. So they see that light in you and they work to uh, to, to pour or to uh, extinguish your light out out of you. Don't you know that? So by the time when you come into that relationship, you're full of life, you're full of vigor. All right. You can run. You can you know, you, you feel like you, you, you've hit your stride. Oh, but then you get hooked up with that narcissist and you switch roles because they are siphoning your spirit away from you. They are taking the good parts of you and they are using you all up. All right. You'll start to learn that emotionally, psychologically, physiologically, spiritually, financially, every area has been affected. That's why this relationship with the narcissist, it's going to hit you like no other relationship. See, before you got with that narcissist, you could just go on. If somebody hurts your heart oh you can just move on you cry a little bit then you lick your wounds then you get on up oh but with that narcissist it is a different story because it is demonic your spirit all right is tied uh with your soul has been impacted and infected by demons all right so when you break apart from that thing all right when you break apart from that thing you have to make up in your mind that this is one because you came into agreement with demonic forces so it's going to rock you like no other so you have to give yourself time to heal all right so uh they are impulsive narcissists need supply like we need air all right. They must surround themselves with people because inside they are empty ves vessels. They are soulless creatures. They have given themselves over to these demonic forces. OK, now we know narcissism, uh, what the world calls narcissism. It works on a spectrum. OK, there are some who are who have traits and then there are some who are full blown psychopaths, sociopaths. Cluster B, histronics, okay, uh, uh, malignant. Oh, that is the worst of the worst, okay? So we have to recognize this sign so that we understand. It is so important that you understand what you're uh, wrestling with. Now, let's look at some of the signs. Those are the, some of the signs of a narcissist. So when you're in a relationship with a narcissist, you'll start to feel isolated, all right. These are some of the signs of the person who is in a relationship with the narcissist. You'll start to feel isolated. You'll start to feel like you're walking on eggshells. Like what is going on here, Lord? Why do I feel this way? OK, you'll start to feel like uh, you have like your friends and family are being uh, uh, or you are being isolated away from them. OK, because the narcissist makes it where it's almost like me and you against the world. So they set it up where you two are almost like on an island. OK, where you two are. Uh, or it's like you two against the world. Oh, but you don't know your narcissists love empathic, loyal people. They love people who are loyal. That's right. 
great. Isolation is evil. Yes, and I'm not talking about a wilderness. Thank you. Uh, this is great teaching. Hallelujah. We need to learn these things. The more we learn these things, the better. All right. We need to know the signs. Okay. So uh, isolation. Then you'll start to feel like you're going crazy. Oh, when you start to feel like you're going crazy, you need to check that, especially when all of your life you've been a, a normal operating sane person. And then this person comes into your life and you can't get right. All right. Before you could do everything you you were, you know, you might have messed up. OK, we're going to mess up. But this person makes you feel like you can't get anything right. And they say things like, oh, can't you just take a joke? You're being too serious. Oh, I never did that. I never said that. Why, what's wrong with you? Why can't you? And then they'll cheat on you or do something and then say, well, why can't you let go of the past? All right. No one will ever love you like I do. Jeez, I hope not. My Lord, I hope not. OK, so you're isolated. You're gaslit. All right. They're, they're making you seem like you are crazy so that you don't trust yourself. The narcissists uh, or those principalities, those demons need you to trust them more than you trust yourself. So it's idolatry 